Hey friends, today we're going to be resetting this Netgear router. And uh, this specific router is the N300, you can see it right there. And the model number is the WNR2000 version three. So uh, in order to do this, very simple, basically what you're gonna need is one of these little SIM card uh, key tools or a pen, anything kind of sharp that can go into a small hole. Uh, so yeah, so basically once you have these two tools, you're ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so in the back of this N300 router, you're gonna find a little restore factory settings uh, hole. Now there's a button inside that hole again. They make it uh, really, really difficult for you to reset this thing accidentally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put our little pin inside that hole and we're gonna depress for approximately 15 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna take uh, that little pin right there and we're gonna push it in. You're gonna fill the, uh, uh, it, the internal button depress and I'm gonna hold it on there for 15 seconds. And uh, once 15 seconds has elapsed, the lights on the front will recycle. So I'm gonna hold it for a couple more seconds there, and that should be good. Okay, when you've reset the router, you're gonna see that these lights uh, actually recycle, and this is gonna go from green to orange. And again, you're gonna be seeing, as long as you're connected to the internet, which I'm not, these indicator lights down here will also begin to light up as things connect. Now again, remember this has been reset to the factory default settings. If you need the password, both for the login as well as the administrator, uh, name. You're going to find those things on the back of your router over here uh, underneath my finger. Again, I'm hiding those numbers just because this is an active router, but you're going to find those things right down here. If you're looking to reset your router name or reset your password, you can actually do that by logging in uh, to the interface. I'll show you how to do that in another video, which I'll link in the description box below. But that is the basic factory reset process. Hope that's helped. If it has, would you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe? We've got a lot more great tutorial videos coming up real soon.